Hey, well, what's up guys? I'm doing a Clayport deck profile. Um, so, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why I had this in my sideboard. Um, it's just in case if you guys face trick, trick stars. Um, this helps get back your scout from being banished. And then you use Power Riches to shuffle it back into your deck. So, um, I was just kind of thinking about that. I was like, if your scout gets banished by that, um, you won't have any way of getting it back. And so I can decide that in game two, and then hopefully be able to get it back. So, but um, yeah. And then here's a new Link monster. Um, I'll go ahead and read it. So this Link summon card is unaffected by spawn traps, and by activating uh, effects of our Link monsters. So once per turn, you can target one other face-up card you control and one face-up card your opponent controls. And both effects are negated. And then when two monsters are supposed to own two zones that this card points to, you can add one with five or higher machine type monster for your deck to your hand. So it's really, really quite good. And um, I think it'll be a good addition to Creek Ports. So, so Creek Port Monolith. Um, so basically, when you treat someone uh, this turn, you draw cards equal to the number of clean monsters I were tributed for a tribute zone. So let's say you tribute two, you get to draw two cards. So that's basically how that works. And then the clean scout, scout um, pay, pay 800 luck points, add one clean card from your deck to your hand. So which means that you can search for basically almost anything in the deck. So and then clean port south. Uh, it's scale effect is this card, or uh, all key monsters gain 300 attack and uh, 300 attack. And then you can always on this card without trading, but uh, it becomes all four. And then, and also 1800 attack. And then if this card is no on slash set, it's not affected by effects uh, from other monsters who level slash rank are lower than this card. And all the Effect clay ports have that effect. Um, the only thing that differs from the clay ports is their additional effect. Um, when this card is true, summoned by training two by training clay monster, you can target one card in the field or turn to the hand, and then your opponent can uh, activate cards and respond to this effect. So, to show he does piercing damage. Um, which is actually really, really quite nice. Um, you have to treat a clay port in order to get that uh, effect off the goat, so I think. Or you're there, it's just generic. Um, so, and then two clay port discs. Um, so when this card's triggered for a tribute summon, I can special two clay ports from your deck, but destroy them during the end phase. And so if you have uh, laser clip, you can also treat the two clip ports that were special to get off additional normal summon. So, two helix. I think some people will play three, um, which is fine. I, I just like playing two. Um, so, <coughs> so when, it, when this card is treated to summon out a, tr a clean monster, uh, you can target one uh, spell trap on the field, destroy it. So, let's say you had Helix on the field, and then you triggered in Helix for a Clayport monster, then Helix would go off, destroying spell trap. So, that's how that works. Same thing with Carrier. If it's triggered for a uh, Clayport monster, um, you can target one monster on the field, or turn, or turn it to a hand. So, so it's really, really quite good. And then Paul Riches, um... If you already have kind of a decent board, and some of your clay parts are destroyed, you can shuffle them back to your deck, and then you draw two. So, which can actually kind of help with um, recuperating your hand, like drawing two, like a dark bribe or a uh, solemn strike or like a skill drain or something like that. So, and then three drawdy, you basically know something out your whole deck, and then drawdy is just good to help. Game advantage, so. TMST. 
just to help get rid of, get rid of back row uh, sacrifice. So if it's equipped to a clayport monster, which is the only way that you can really equip this card, um, it gains 300, that clayport monster gains 300 attack and can be destroyed by battle. And then the equipped monster is treated as two tributes for a clayport monster. So, which is pretty nice. And then if this card sent from the field to a grave, uh, you can add one clayport monster from your deck to your hand. So, two memory shield, just help get over basically anything that you might need. Um, because this deck has a little bit of an issue getting over big monsters. So, this is just kind of in here to just help get over that. Uh, laser Cleap, it gives you additional normal summon of a Clayport monster, and so that gives you two normal summons of a Clayport monster, so it's pretty, pretty nice. And then Laser, or Clipper launch, until end of turn, all normal summon slash set Clayport monsters you control uh, currently gain 3 attack and are unfit by others, other spells and traps, and their effects are negated, so, which is pretty nice. And recreate, um, it basically does the same thing as lose on turn, but I'll still read it off to you guys. So if a monster is normal summon slash flipped, uh, and it's level 4 lower, uh, negate its effect until the end of turn. If a monster is special summon and so far higher, negate its effect until the end of turn. Also banish it when it leaves the field. And then if you control no Clayport, uh, card, except recreate, um, send this card to a grave, so, yeah, and then this one turn says when a, when your punch, uh, when a special monster is special, um, negate its effect, although you have to control no special monsters in order to, uh, activate, or, uh, flip this, uh, trap, uh, up, so, so that's a, you know someone out uh, Helix, and then you flip this on your next turn. That'd be that's how that that's how that, that works. So, and then skill drain. Skill drain is really really quite good because if if these guys effects are negated, their attack goes to twenty four, and so uh, which is really really quite nice. So, and then three storm strike, three dark bribe. And then one warning. So, um, yeah. So that's basically it for the Clayport deck file. Um, thank you for watching. Don't you like, comment, and subscribe more. And stay tuned for tomorrow's start to uh, Archer Guys uh, deck. So, but yeah, uh, I will catch you later. All right, later guys.